Hey guys, this is Stelly FT with Close.io. Here's why you should never let middlemen actually sell your product. So here's the story. Uh, a sales guy comes to me from our team and tries to close a pretty big opportunity for Close.io and describes to me the complexity of the deal, all the stakeholders involved and asks, you know, am I missing anything? Is there anything else that I should do uh, to make sure that this deal actually happens, right? So here's the scenario. There's a sales team in the US for that company, but there's also multiple sales teams overseas. And actually one of those sales teams in Italy is the biggest sales team of the entire organization. And the VP of sales who's running the Italy team is kind of the most important stakeholder and has to green light the purchase of Closeout. Now, we never interacted with the VP of sales in Italy. We've never interacted with the CEO. That's another stakeholder of the deal. All we've interacted with is the sales manager here in the US that manages a small but growing team of about 10 salespeople for that company. Now, she's been interacting with our sales guy. She loves the product. She loves Close.io. Uh, she wants to use it to close more deals, make more sales, grow their outbound sales organization. And she's been in constant communication with our sales guy, basically saying, hey, I love this. I totally want to buy this. Um, but it's going to be important for us to have the VP of sales and the CEO actually sign off on the software. So what does our sales guy say? You know what? That's exciting. Uh, he extends her trial, he gives her a bit more information, and he basically says, you know, I've coached her through all the questions, and now I'm kind of going to be waiting uh, till the end of August, where she's going to be able to, this means that a deal just closed, um, where she's going to be able to um, get the buy-in from the VP of sales and the CEO, and then hopefully we're going to get this huge deal done. Anything I'm missing was the question of the sales guy to me. Uh, here's what I said. Yeah, I do think you're missing something. How about talking to the fucking stakeholders yourself? Why would you ever le let control of the deal slip your hands and have other people have to do all the heavy lifting and all the selling for your product for you? That's never a good idea. And here's why. Here's why it's a bad idea to only have one person that you're working with and have that person do all the heavy lifting and the pitching and the selling to other people. Well, obviously you're losing control, right? You don't have any influence anymore on the deal. Now your internal champion has to do all the selling for you. And if they do a good job, congrats. But if they do a bad job, you're going to lose the deal. Next thing is you don't have any sense of urgency or timeline right now. You're going to have to you know, you can't be proactive anymore, basically. Now you have to be reactive, waiting to see what's going to happen on the other end of the, the line, waiting to see if your champion is going to move with a sense of urgency, move the deal forward quickly enough. You can't do anything else. Your action item is waiting, which I fucking hate, right? That's a really bad action item. Is the next item on your to-do list, on your to-do list for a certain deal is waiting. You're in a bad position. And last but not least, Here's what's going to happen. That champion is going to go to all the other stakeholders, try to sell them on the, that deal. And these people will have questions. They will have requests. They will need information. How does the technology work? Have they ever done X, Y, and Z? They'll have all these questions where your champion has no answers for because they didn't think of asking all the questions possible. And what is the champion going to say? I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to go back and ask my account, the account exec at Close.io about this or that question. And what's that going to do? It's going to waste more time. Now they have to zigzag between you and the actual stakeholders and ultimate decision makers, seeing what kind of questions they have, come back to you to ask you, get back to them to give them the information, then they have follow-up questions to that information, come back to you, and that zigzagging is going to do two things. It's going to waste time and it's going to basically create... Uh, packets of lo loss of information because you know the, the that game where you say you whisper something in one person's ear and then th that person is supposed to whisper the same information to somebody else's ear and it goes around and after like 20 people you whisper like the sunrise is really beautiful at the end of 20 people the person's like the turtle has uh, wings and in china they're flying pigs like the message is gonna get totally lost because it has to be translated and interpreted and recommunicated again and again and again. And every time that happens, a little bit of information gets lost in translation. So what should you do instead? What did I tell the sales guy to do instead? Well, take control of the situation and actually 
get involved in the sales pitch and talk and get access to the ultimate stakeholders, the VP of sales and the CEO, to try to influence them, give them all the information they need, qualify them and close them just like you did with a champion. Ask her, hey, you know, I think it's great that you love the product. That's awesome. Virtual high five, you know. Uh, but now that you have to go and convince the VP of sales and the CEO, I actually want to be of service to you. I want to support you in this. I know that most likely these guys will have questions uh, to things that you couldn't possibly answer, like very technical things or things that we both haven't had a chance to discuss yet. So why don't we do this? Why don't we put something on the schedule for next week or the week after where you, the VP of sales and the CEO, we all get together on a quick 30 minute call we answer all the questions. I make sure that I'm there as an expert, you know, supporting you and making your case for Close.io. And once they have all the information, we'll provide them with everything they need. Then they can make a decision ultimately if they want to buy or not, if we should proceed or not. Does it sound like a good idea? Try to make sure that you get access to the decision makers, to all the stakeholders. You get a chance to sell them. You get a chance to give them all the information. You get a sense, you get a, a, a real chance to basically decrease the time of sale and make all this zigzagging you know irrelevant and 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 give them everything they need to make to be able to make a decision now sometimes people will block that kind of access because their job from the get go was to not give access and save these stakeholders time and say, you know, our CEO, our VP of sales wanted me to do all the research and then come back with all the information so they can make a decision without having to interact with past key account managers. What do you do when they don't want to give you access to these people? These people don't want to jump on a call with you. Well, obviously you can do, you know, you can try to do a good job of selling yourself, not as a sales guy, an account executive, but as an actual expert, somebody that's going to provide information, tell him, hey, I, I believe there's no selling anymore to be done. You're already sold on the product. All I want to do is be in that conversation so I can provide information. So when they have questions, I can answer them. And when they follow up questions to those questions, I can answer them. And we save each other a lot of time and effort and, 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 and friction. If that doesn't work, sometimes it's a good idea to pull the CEO card, right? <laughs> All you do is you say, Hey, you know, your CEO might not want to talk to this, like, to me, this little account manager that's irrelevant or unimportant. But what we're going to do is, that because this deal is so important and you'll bring the CEO into the deal, I'm going to bring in my CEO and let the CEOs talk to each other and CEO it out, right? Um, you know, a lot of this is bullshit. A lot of this is just like t throwing a around titles to make people think they're more important or somebody else is more important and you could do as good as a job as the CEO or anybody else in the organization but whatever it fucking works so what works works don't be picky about it sometimes you want to pull the CEO card or the VP of sales or somebody else that's important the founder card and basically because you are bringing in somebody of such status and prestige uh you know, the other party will be, it's going to be a lot easier for the other party to bring in their CEO or their ultimate decision maker. And that ultimate decision maker will feel like, okay, this is a worth call, a call worth having for me because the CEO is going to be there and then we can talk CEO to CEO, whatever bullshit, uh, you know, reasoning they give themselves to feel comfortable with it. All you care about is getting everybody on the same freaking call and being able to influence the decision making, being able to empower them and empower yourself to be proactive versus having to lean back and wait to have your champion do all the heavy lifting, selling the VP of sales, selling the CEO, answering questions, coming back with follow-up questions. And basically, you're giving away control of the deal to somebody else that doesn't have the power, the energy, the focus, the clarity, the information to do as good as a job as you can. So you should never do that. So. Please promise me this, in the future, starting today, if you're ever in a sales process that involves multiple stakeholders and the ultimate decision maker is not talking to you directly, promise me that you're going to do anything in your power to get access to that person, to get access to all the stakeholders and make it your job and your responsibility to sell every single one of them one by one as if it was your first deal versus giving away control to some person in some company to do all the selling for you within that organization. Take control of the deal. Don't let anybody else, don't let any middleman have to do the salesing and the sales for you.